It's actually over a decade old, but in the last year, I was doing it as part of an online uh, performance show called Eschaton that would happen on Zoom every Saturday night. And then in October, a filmmaker friend of mine wanted to sh make a short film, and we shot it here in Washington Square Park overnight. And the next day after our first night of shooting, someone had posted a video, like a candid video online, and it went viral. So then I started posting to my TikTok page, posting to Instagram, and within a couple weeks had my own content that was going viral, started building a lot of followers. Interesting so and amusing short. A performer in the streets of New York City plays the role of Buddy the Rat with a long tail and an amazing rat mask. This confident performer tells us of how he's been in show business for many years, including doing puppetry, so it's not surprising how physically agile and expressive he is. I love the footage of him interacting with people of all ages on the streets and the lively soundtrack below the action. I like the clever split screen with him and a big prop pizza on one side and real footage of an actual rat with real pizza on the other side. I also enjoyed his discussion about how his social media presence has really grown. Would love to see him live. Great film. It starts out as a promo for an upcoming performance with Jonathan talking about how long he's been getting into this character as a method actor. But once he saw the response it was getting online, he gave Buddy the Rat a social media presence, and it has exploded ever since. And he treats every public appearance as if it were a live performance. And he does so in a way that stands out from a typical street performance, since this sort of thing is definitely not out of the ordinary in New York. Uh, but it, it was amazing to see how the community has taken such a huge liking to Jonathan and his character. Because, I mean, people really don't associate rats as being friendly or approachable, certainly not in the same way as, say, dogs are. So this short has a deeper meaning to it as well, in that if dressing up as a huge rat can still make you likable, then you should not be concerned at all with how you look or your body shape, because your personality will win people over in the I end. I love seeing this. It's a, a different kind of uh, just a performing art form. I, I, I've done something like this, only it was in a theme park. So it's, you know, it's different because there's all kinds of rules and, and things. And it's, um, you know, you're playing somebody else's branded character. But so to some extent, I, I kind of related to this. But, you know, it kind of opened my mind to different ways of doing it, you know. So... Um, I love that he uh, he has come up with this character and he's out in, in public performing it. Was really neat, especially is to see that he was able to get like a million people to follow him on TikTok so that he's able to do this live performance, but also at the same time, you know, be uh, multimedia about it, um, you know, and uh, reach a, a global audience. So that's pretty sweet. I'm I'm pretty, I'm very impressed by that, you know. So great, great job, great thinking on his part. But uh, he's very talented. I, I enjoyed everything he had to say. I enjoyed uh, watching him perform. The whole thing was uh, pieced together very nicely. It was edited and paced very well and uh, photographed very well and a good use of music and score. And uh, yeah, no, I, I, I wish continued success. Um, and um, I hope this gets out there and gets seen so we can get more TikTok followers. So I was super excited to um, find the story in the selections of documentary shorts because the rat character is something I'm familiar with from social media. I first saw it on um, New York Nico's Instagram and I thought it was just so hilarious and so New York. Um, and But I had no idea how passionate Jonathan was about his performance and kind of the backstory um, of how the character came to be and you know how much he does for the city. So I really appreciated getting to see that side of him. Um, and I like that you included footage both from his TikTok and to showcase what he works on, um, as well as your own footage. I thought that was really smart. Um, and overall, I thought it was super interesting, and I really was excited to learn more about um, this character. So, it's a good really job. interesting behind the scenes look at this character who I recognize, I've seen before, not in person because I would definitely remember that, but probably on TikTok or on social somewhere. Um, I think. The origin story is really interesting in that, you know, this was an actor who has done really amazing work throughout his career, but was like, I want to do something more physical. And so he created this character and it's kind of evolved over time and gotten um, better in terms of the mask and what it can do and being able to 
influence the energy of a crowd, of a room, of a city um, in an instant, right? Just by embodying this character. And I think it probably takes a lot of courage to do. And I thought it was really interesting that he doesn't take money for it, for these performances. He's like, I'm just an artist and I just want to share my gift and the crowd here is my audience and that's it. Um, so this really is a passion project and something that he obviously takes very seriously. And I think it's cool how he's been able to, um, I don't know if he's monetized it, but, but monetize it by getting it onto TikTok and, and having somebody come and like get these jump scares and all of these different um, interactions that he has as the rat um, and kind of be able to expand his audience globally and worldwide. So I thought that was, re that was really cool. Um, very glad that I've never met him in person, not him, but the rat, because I would a hundred percent be one of those people who would be screaming and running away. I think I would be extremely traumatized if a giant human sized rat jumped at me. Um, but I'm really happy for him. <laughs> who knew that a rat could make such a big impact in such a large city? I think that the work that this artist is doing is wonderful and the way that he's expanding it to be able to help local and important causes such as issues with um, littering and garbage cleanup and things like that and just generally putting smiles on people's faces and it would still be a great thing to do if he accepted tips but there's something even more uh, prolific about it that he doesn't that it really isn't about money or a source of income but instead about kind of stretching and exercising his artistic muscles. I think that's something really to be admired. Uh, ironically, he does a great job humanizing this character that Jonathan has created and showing us how it developed from his different areas of artistic practice and also his intention behind the work that he's doing as the rat. And I think that an overall message of this film is how quickly a persona can be sensationalized through social media and removed from the artist himself or herself and how important it is for us as viewers to be able to recognize and look for the intention of the artist and that may just be entertainment but in this case, and I think in many cases, the content that we are entertained by and consuming so quickly has a greater message behind it that we can take away and ponder in our own lives.